Hello and welcome back to the Championship Manager Years. And my voice is getting better but still not quite there. So hopefully as we get through this first week of this game, it will start improving and by next week we'll be back to normal. So here we are in 95, well 1996 now, 95, 96 season. Uh, we just hit January. Obviously last episode we played through pretty much the month of September. Uh, I was planning to come back on November but I thought, you know what, I'll just go through right till the new year. Uh, just plough through the big hectic schedule in the championship that we have been doing with Wolves and just try and get probably this first season at least done a bit quicker than usual now I do want this episode to be a bit shorter as well I did notice the last one was a little bit longer than hoped and expected I was hoping these to be maybe 15 20 minute episodes but they're being closer to 30 30 and 40 minutes which is not needed so we'll quickly whiz through um, so we'll go in to see where we are currently you won't show the league or anything just yet Luckily, it's not like a football manager where it shows all that stuff out. So we'll go to fixtures and results. So the first game uh, where we left it last time was... The last game was the Charlton game, which we won 7-3. That, no, that rings a bell now. Yeah, 7-3. Uh, fantastic result. No red cards on that one, fortunately. But it is, like I say, a theme that continues. So we did have the second leg against Arsenal. Very boring 0-0, but we did, unfortunately, go out in the end. Uh, we did, at this point, make a new, new sign-in, uh, Graham Tomlinson, who I think we looked right at the end of the last episode. We, we, we came this time, we got him in, so he, he comes into the club and hopefully, well, we say hopefully, but boosts us a little bit. Uh, we then played Luton, we got a nice 2 0 win against those, those, them, even Tony Foyer in goal for them, getting man of the match. Um, Boncho Gwenchev wasn't able to keep them in the game, or get them in the game. Tony Daly and Mark Atkins grabbing the goals for us. Uh, we did have a couple of England games uh, in this window. The next That was next, but we're going to do that a little bit separate. So we just concentrate on Wolves at the moment. We then had Chievo in the Anglo Italian Cup. We lose 2 1 away from home. Uh, Luigi Ferry with the. I mean, I don't think they again have got any real players here. I mean, I'm doing this like I can click on them. It might not even work anyway. It does because we can click on ours. So yeah, no, no real players and we lose 2 1. So a bit of a shock, a bit of a choker. Uh, we then uh, played Portsmouth, we scraped a one-all draw, um, I say scraped, I don't remember this one, this was what I played yesterday, yeah, scraped is probably fair enough, uh, we had to equalise after Paul Walsh gave them the lead, uh, we then played Derby, uh, we lost 5-1, absolutely smashed, probably the biggest result, biggest smashing we've had in this save, now Steve Sutton, I've got a funny feeling he's the Sutton United goalkeeper slash coach who was in Pygate. Is it the the steak and kidney pie or something on the sideline and, and the, the gambling and all that? I'm pretty sure that was him. Uh, we then got slightly back on terms. We got a one-all draw against Tranmere. Uh, we probably did deserve to win this one but alas it wasn't to be. Two very late goals in the game. We had to come back from 1-0 down to get the, to get the equaliser and luckily we did. Uh, we then played Leicester Still waiting for the win. It's been a good few games. Doing a lot. I think we're doing quite a few tactical changes here and there. But we lose 2-0 to Leicester. Gary Parker and Pontus Carmark getting the goals for them. Uh, Neil Lennon is their captain and playing quite well by the looks of it. Yep, it's not a great result. Uh, we then got another draw against Millwall. Another red card. Mark McGregor comes off the bench to, I think, get sent off. No, no, he did just, just get sent off. <laughs> um, we won it up. Uh, Smith then actually got injured in this game. I think we lost him for a good while. Um, and then Al McGregor replaced Smith who was injured and then got sent off. Uh, we managed to grab, I think, a late equaliser in this one. No, they grabbed a late equaliser. So we were actually winning 1 0 before that happened and then they, yeah, just hit us with a sucker punch right at the end, the last 15 minutes. Uh, we then did get back to winning ways in the derby. Uh, this was actually the first game I played tonight. I decided to go a bit further forward. Uh, so we got a yeah 2-1 win against West Brom, uh, Leonenko and Andy Thompson getting the goals. Uh, Spink, we've seen a lot of their goalkeepers getting man of ashes in some games. But we held on, they come back. Um, Simon Buckley, he's in the in-between us. Uh, we, uh, yes, Nick has got one back, but we managed to hold on and, and grab the win. Much, much needed win. Uh, we then had another disappointment in the anglo Italian Cup against a non-player team, Ancona. Uh, Leonenko got both goals for us. Uh, in a very dismal game really I think we were tuning up we were tuning up in this game and we gave it away we again another theme of ours is giving away leads uh, this is another one we were tuning up against Palace 
Um, no, we were 2 1 up against Palace. We got 1 0 down, 2 1 up, and then lost 4 2. Um, yeah, we actually bottled this one. I mean, two very late goals. Uh, I mean, all the goals, apart from there, were one of the first half, they were all very close together. But we lost that one out on, out on that one, unfortunately. We did then follow up with a 5 1 win against Stoke. Now, Stoke aren't very high in the league, so we would expect this. And their goal actually was disappointing for me because we were very much the better team. We made a few changes, and that's when the, the, the goal occurred. Uh, an England game happened just before this, but like I say, we'll talk about that shortly. Um, just ran really enough a load of games. We've gone so far into this now that there's just so many games in the Championship. But a one all draw against Ipswich, again, they're struggling. We should have done better. Uh, it was another early red, which nearly actually cost us this game. It cost us getting a win and turning it into a draw, but it nearly turned that draw also into a loss. So we were lucky to get a draw really in the end, but we should have won the game really. Uh, a 3-0 win against Sheffield United, uh, much needed win, Lilenko with the goals, Tomlinson off the bench and Mark Venus grabbing one as well. Uh, we weren't troubled too much in this game I don't seem to recall, I mean they had a lot of shots it says but I don't really remember that, it was quite an easy game. Uh, we then played Reading, uh, another draw, we do draw a lot, Steve Ball off the bench getting us a late equaliser, Phil Parkinson, uh, take, giving him an early lead for half after half an hour. But we weren't able to build on that, unfortunately. It took a 78-minute goal, but we were lucky to get the draw, really. They were much better than us. They were above us in the league. Probably expected. Um, another draw. Uh, this time, the Anglo Italian Cup again. Again, another. These probably have got a few players. I think he's real. Here he is, yeah. He scored their goal. Roberto Baggio is there as well. It's not Roberto Baggio. He did play for Brescia, I think, towards the end of his career. So they got a few players. Um, so not as bad. So the draw in this one probably isn't as bad. But still not great. Uh, we um, snatched a two-all draw in this one, really. We got a late equaliser. They did miss a penalty as well. And we were holding on a little bit at the end. But a two-all draw, I think that actually got us through. That got us through to the semi-final. I think we played Derby. So, yeah, that's something, something to look forward to. We'll see that in a sec. It'll be on the next screen, I'm sure. Yeah, Derby. Something to look forward to in the semi-final. Uh, we then played Barnsley, who were like 23rd. They took the lead. We equalised, we couldn't get the win out, it was absolutely disappointing. A poor draw against a very poor Barnsley team. Uh, and then the flip side of that is we were lucky to draw one all against Huddersfield. They took the lead, I'm pretty sure. Yep, a very late equaliser for us through Danny Murphy, who's coming on a little bit. He's getting nearly a 7 average rating for an 18 year old, isn't too bad. He's pulling in some performances in the new tactic we're playing, which I'll show you shortly. Um, and then we played Oldham, I was expecting to get absolutely smashed to bits in this one. But we managed to get 3-1 winning this game. They did get a red card, but the damage was fairly done already. Lienenko with two, an own goal for them. And Dean Richards on his first game back after his injury. Uh, he's been out for about four months. He scored an own goal for them as well, unfortunately. But a 3-1 win against a team that were like 4th or 5th or something while we were sitting 8th or 9th. Uh, we'll have a look at the league table in a minute as well. Uh, was a great uh, tonic for us, uh, which led us onto a nice 5-2 win against Watford. Uh, this game did, though, have its fault. Mike Stahl got injured in the 82nd minute, and he's actually now out for about three or four months. So he's probably going to miss, well, the bulk end of the run of, our, run of our season, and he's been absolutely fantastic for us. His average rating is incredible for a keeper who's probably letting quite a lot of goals. So it's very, very disappointing. Um, if we go to the transfers, we did just sell a player I didn't want to sell. I was trying to take him off the transfer list, but I forgot to do it. Um, and... He was starting to come into the team and get a few good performances, but Simon Osborne and Leighton Orient actually offered more money for him, but he, he turned them down to go to Grimsby. Not surprising, because they're in our division, I'm pretty sure. But he started playing a few games and getting a good few performances in this new system of playing. But there was a reason I had to sell him, and that was this. We are just about in the in the, in the the black now. We were in the red. We're losing a lot of money, uh, bleeding money left, right and centre, so we need to start getting some performances to get the crowds back in. Start trying to hit this 28,000 um, capacity because we're hitting sort of 14s, 11s. It's very disappointing. So, yes, yeah, so we need to do that. And that's something that needs to happen. Steve Ball is wanted by Chelsea. Uh, hopefully, we won't be able to let him go because we don't really have another striker behind. Uh, we're seeing a lot of suspensions in our defence. John DeWolf's missed so many games through suspension. Uh, red cards and accumulation of yellows. It's absolutely ridiculous. We did manage to sign this guy. We needed a spare right back. He was the cheapest. Um, and also most versatile player I could get in, but very much a short-term 
uh, solution. Uh, tactically, we're now playing a free, well, a free one two two. I mean, it's very offensive. When, when it plays well, it plays well. We bang the goals in. When it doesn't, we get a lot of goals in against us. Um, if a couple of players aren't playing well, yeah, it, it, it shows. Um, so that's where we're up to now. And we do have a game today. We've got Brentford in the FA Cup, which is where we're starting. We don't have too many games in January, so we probably will just play these four January games as this episode, and hopefully it'll be a bit of a shorter one. So let's jump into the Brentford game, who are actually a division below us. So let's not forget that. We should be winning this game. We're going to go with a full-strength team. Um, I haven't got a full complement of subs out at the moment. We are missing a midfielder. I'm not sure why. It's because we sold Osborne, matey, yeah. So we'll stick Bushel in. Someone who looks very good but hasn't really been forming in those two attacking midfielder roles that we have now. Paul Davis. I don't know if has Paul Davis of Arsenal fame. As we take a lead on 13 minutes and yeah, a good cut run for the money would be very good as well. Dean Richards again um, on the score sheet in the right goal this time. But yeah, good cut run just to get a bit of money coming, a big, a big tie. I mean, I'd rather maybe play a few smaller teams and get a bit further in and get the big money later on than maybe play a Man United or an Arsenal or well, not so much an Arsenal but uh, a Man United or Leeds or Liverpool next because we're going to lose it and yeah we might get one one good payoff but I'd want a few more really as we double our lead on the 49th minute just after half time who's scored the goal McCarthy it's been a while since he's he's not been that free scoring Leonenko's been amongst the goals but not McCarthy so much as we, I think it was Danny Murphy, adds a third on the 75th minute. We, oh no, Smith hasn't really been amongst the goals quite so much since his injury. Uh, we're going to take off Victor Leonenko because we just can't risk him getting injured. Danny Murphy's doing okay and we will bring on uh, Venus at left back as well. All three subs, QS getting injury, a red card or letting a goal in now. One of those three is going to happen. Probably the goal. Our corner comes to nothing. All, uh, some things never change. Foot manager corners come to nothing. In this game, the corner comes to nothing, and they go pretty much at the other end and score. And Paul Jones doesn't do too badly in goal for us. Uh, obviously, deputising for Stow, who's going to be out for yeah, until what? Sort of, probably the end of the season, I think. Certainly the very last glimpses of it. Man United, any upsets here? Doesn't look like it. Enfield drawing with Leeds, that's non-league in Enfield drawing with Leeds, that's it's an own goal. Tony Boa scoring for Leeds, what's the bet in that was an absolute banger. Uh, Everton beating Stevenage Borough. Uh, just trying to see if there's any kind of Man City, or oh, Man City are in the Premier League, so not completely a, an upset. As we get Darlington in the fourth round, so probably not too bad. Are we home or away? We're away, but it's Division 3. How are they doing in Division 3? Anyone here I recognise? Uh, probably not. Sean Gregan? Yeah, Sean Gregan. Don't know how I remember him, but I do. Uh, no one jumps out. Else jumps out there. Darlington, how are they doing? I'd love to see him down the bottom. Yeah. Fancy that. So here we are again. We've now got Grimsby, who have just signed Simon Osborne from us. They're in 20th position. Hopefully he doesn't inspire a bit of a turnaround in form for them. Uh, let's see. So Masters is injured. I didn't see that happen. We'll switch Venus in there. We will put Van, de Howe, Van Den Howe on the bench. Uh, we're going to switch Young. No, we're going to put Young in for McGregor. So hopefully we can get another good result. I've clicked another button when I press space bar for the speed up. That's another little tip we haven't put in. I didn't put in the first episode. Uh, it goes along quite slowly, but if you press spacebar, it goes up to, I think it's like three times the speed or something as we score on the 17th minute. That's what we need. Lee Boyer rattles one in as they go straight up the other end pretty much and equalise on the 24th minute. Clive Mendonca, he scored against us last time. We talked about him, always used to sign him on, player manager on um, PS1. Carlos Saba as well, who was at Brentford in the last, the last game used to try and sign those two. I don't even know why they weren't even particularly good on the game. I think I just saw them on TV once they both scored goals. So we go 2-1 down to 20th place Grimsby, Grimsby. And we are coming out Grim up north. 
as we go three one down what's going on they're just literally scoring every chance that comes their way and we just got no answer to it Graham Thompson's playing a five he's really not having a good game can we bounce back in the second half or are we just going to absolutely capitulate Thompson's played a stinker four I mean how do you play a four so yeah we didn't look at the league table actually earlier did we so as it stands now after those couple of games we are seventh we are one point off the playoffs we're, we're only sort of a couple of points being right down here we have dropped Oldham out below us which is interesting Derby can't lead the way and look quite well for it Leicester I mean those two are almost certainly guaranteed top spot they'd have to have a bit of a fall from grace to, to not do that Charlton Watford Sunderland and Reading all up there down the bottom South End sorry Ted they're down the bottom now Barnsley Stoke and Sheffield United Norwich have climbed up Ipswich is still around there Grimsby after that win have pulled themselves up a bit as well uh, just seeing some injuries oh we didn't look at England did we the England fixtures yeah this is this is a joy so obviously we played the I think we played we showed the Portugal game we won that 3-0 I think that was in the last episode but we then drew one against Croatia uh, it was an own goal they scored for us and then <laughs> Prozanetsky scored an equaliser on the 85th minute we then played Mexico we were 2-0 up I think uh, let's see Adams and foul of a penalty a uh, 1-all and then 2-1 up and then yeah late equaliser again um, we are tinkering a little bit with England as well that's currently what we're playing it's not ideal um, just had a little bit of a mess around I do vaguely remember something like this working back in the day it might have been on the next game rather than this one I'm not too sure but nothing I do with England seems to be really working we might get a lead but we'll almost guaranteed to concede like a late equaliser or just no matter what we do the next game's not until February so it won't be this episode we won't have an England game this episode uh, as I chuck in the token save there um, I think I did cut it out the last episode I like to save on this game regularly which was absolutely perfect yesterday because I nearly absolutely lost the game it nearly crashed on me as my recording software converted the file into an, uh, an mp4 or whatever it was it was doing or an mp4 yeah mp4 um it nearly crashed everything i nearly lost everything so i like to save the game at the very least if i, mi if I lose some of the game recording the game footage that's not so bad losing the game not risking it i think it saves every four weeks anyway um but ireland as well did um uh, qualify so they're in there they're third in the draw to championship pass so the group oh republic of ireland england portugal and ukraine also we've beaten portugal in our friendlies we've got ukraine so we'll be coming up against um Lienenko and of course republic of ireland uh, a few injuries are popping up in there so we've got birmingham today who are 16th we've got another injury here to steve ball so we'll drop him off the bench um anything else we can do here really not really but we need another win here we need to start ramping up the pressure on those playoff positions and the teams below us as well picking some space out as Leonenko. i was about to swap him around with mccarthy but you no know, he grabs his goal 13 minutes in one nil up this is the sort of game when this starts happening we start scoring lots of shots uh, scoring lots of goals with our shots but that last game that like we saw with grimsby it can go completely the other way depending on just how the game feels really I mean, we could easily just equalise here and uh, get equalised against here, and it proved me completely wrong. But I think we're going to, from the look of it, it looks like we're going to win this game. It's just we need to get that second goal right now before they start threatening. I mean, they're having a terrible time out there. Their goalkeeper is the only real player with any kind of form in the game. But we're not scoring. We've got the first goal. All it takes is one chance for them, or a penalty, or a red card for us, or something, and they're back in the game don't concede don't concede one nil that'll do i'll take that <laughs> we didn't play amazingly but we had a few eights and nines out there a few sevens i mean yeah it's not too bad it's graham tomlinson number six he's had two games in a row now where he just hasn't played well but now we've sold simon osborne i don't really have a suitable replacement play back there so uh ian right we've seen a lot of injuries for england but don't have to worry about them too much at the moment token save uh the board's telling me expect high position. I don't know if we're supposed to be challenging for the title this season or something. I mean, obviously, we're way away from that. That last game took us into fifth, so we're in the playoff spots. Um, so I don't know what they're expecting. I mean, one more win, we could be third. So we're, we're, we're in touching distance. We're not going to get the top two. We just need to make sure we're in these playoffs. Come, um, oh, Graham Thompson's out injured. That's fantastic. 
I mean, what we can do is maybe drop Leonenko back there and chuck Steve Ball up front. See if that works. We're away to Derby in this cup. I don't really care too much about the cup. In fact, it's just another distraction that gets in the way. Uh, Leonenko warned on the first minute what are the odds he's going to get sent off in this game at some point. And we'll take a lead. There's no legs, it's just a, a knockout, straight knockout semi final at their ground, which is a bit harsh, a bit unfair. But Smith with the goal. And Smith now with a bad foul, he gets a yellow card. And I thought they were going to equalise in quite often, they result in goals, those kind of text sequences. And Yonder Wolf grabs the second, 2 0 up. We could actually have a bit of a cut run here. I mean, it, we mentioned the FA Cup, good for, good for the old coffers, good for the funds. I don't know what we'll get for this. I assume we're going well, not necessarily going to. I assume we have an Italian team in the final. About 82 minutes. It looks like we're going to grab the win, barring a remarkable collapse. But no, it doesn't happen. And we seem to be a bit more stubborn at the back with Paul Jones. I mean, he's not playing as well, but he's doing all right. And so we see here: Casenza beats Shazana, Genoa beats Chievo and Tranmere beat Sheffield United. I assume that's like a secondary, like a runners-up cup. But we're playing, what, we're playing Tranmere. Oh, I don't get this tournament at all. Um, do we have one more game this month? We do, we've got Darlington in the FA Cup, so we'll play that. We're gonna stick with what we were doing. We'll put Leonenko on the, uh, Thomas on the bench. Clark, but I think we're going to stick with Leonenko just behind it. Worked against Derby, who are high flying Derby. I don't know if that was their first team or what, but this has got to be a win. Playing at the Feetums, I don't think they play there anymore. I don't know where they do play, but we can't be risking losing this match. We have to be getting through here for the cup run, for the money, and just pride of not being knocked out by a third division team. Being the, you know, the what's the, what's the term? The giant killing. Oh my God, we're getting giant killed oh my god this can't happen oh, we're back in it I think that's McCarthy getting the equalizer it is indeed now we just need to build on that and push forward for the win and I think I forgot to change something on the tactic yeah I normally do this I do it in the game and I keep forgetting it to set it up actually up in the tactic and it does seem to make us but oh come on. there we go <laughs> I did it in one game and we played well and got back into it and I started doing it in the games because I forgot to do it before the game. If you do it in the game it won't save it for next time, you have to do it in the tactics screen in the home, at the home screen. So I have to do that after this game to make sure it saves it for the next match and Steve Ball picks one out. That's 3-1. It's a penalty, their player sent off, Steve Ball steps up, Steve Ball scores and that's blockbusters. There we go. Steve Ball grabs his hat trick. What's that? A 12 minute hat trick. Not bad. Not bad at all. And do we maybe stick with that a little bit to a degree? The two the ball up front and Leonenko dropping back into the midfield. Maybe we do. I mean, this is Darlington. Let's not forget. Despite what happened in the first half, it is Darlington. As we've handballed and Young is sent off. There's the red card. Of course there is. To drop them back. That's all we can do, really. Steve Ball should still score again. <laughs> there we go. I mean, it was their goalkeeper sent off. Did they bring a goalkeeper on? They did. I mean, he's actually playing not too badly. Better than their number one, in fact. So we're through to the what's that? The fifth round of the FA Cup. I don't know if we see who we get here. I'm not going to bother looking at the giant killings. Nope. So we'll quickly pop in the tactics just to make sure we remember that for next time. Uh, there we go. Steve Ball, is it still Chelsea? It is. His value's shot up a little bit after that game. That's all good. So we'll do a quick save. The top goal scorer is Leonenko with 19. McCarthy's up there as well with 12. So he's, having a, he's actually having a good season. But yeah, we're going to leave that episode there now. And like I say, I want to try and... There's going to be some massive slash editing to try and get this down, this footage down to a reasonable length of time. I don't want stupidly long videos. Um, I did just edit video two and 
I did have to edit during the matches, which I don't really want to do. I wanted the matches to just be as they are and everything else around it to be as quick as possible. But so far, with doing a month's worth of games, it's quite tough to do that. But uh, yeah, if you've enjoyed the episode, please drop a like uh, down below. Uh, if, while you're there, if you're not, if you are new, drop a sub to the channel as well. It's be fantastic. Uh, any comments, anything you've seen, anything you want me to look at, I'll take it on board. Um, I'm trying at the moment. I am recording the day before I release it so if I can keep that schedule up a little bit if I get better and go back to the gym that won't happen I'll be maybe bulk recording or staggering the releases out a little bit but um yeah until next time which I'll, I don't know when we'll come back maybe maybe near the end of the season we'll, we'll play through maybe and come back for that I'm not too sure but um I'll, I'll work it out see how far I can get and we'll work it out but yeah until next time I'll see you later take care